The Tommy and Trap Master Advances of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 13, Lincoln's Passenger Train. Lincoln Lab was enjoying his time on the island of soda for the summer. When he first came out, everything was perfect, and on his second day, he helped out Arthur after he'd broken down and took in his train to the docks. Now Lincoln was used as a shunting engine at Napa Station over the past two weeks, and things were going pretty smoothly. And of course, he encountered an engine called Spencer, but Lincoln got back and teaching him a lesson about being bossy. Lincoln was joining his time around it, so despite those things, and he was making some new friends along with his sister, Luna Lau, who ought to come to stay on soda as well for the summer. Lincoln was shouting a couple of trucks in the yard for a freight train. Soon he pushed his train of this freight train to Napa Station. Here you go, sir, said Lincoln panically. These freight cars are for duck. They take them out later on the little west end on his branch line. To the top of that seat that Lincoln was panicking. Good job, Lincoln, said the top and hand. I'm very impressed with you of how you done well with and how you handle with something both trucks and coaches in Nathan Yards. I'm very proud of you. I think it's time that you should learn how to pull trains. I think it's time first that you learn how to pull a passenger train in for once. And let me ask you this, said the top and head. Have you pulled passenger trains back on your railway before? Well, quickly, yes, in Lincoln. I do have, but it's been quite a while since I pulled a passenger train before. Or a poor train before, because the past couple of weeks I've been here, I've been shunting rolling stock in the yard. Oh, I see, said the top and head. Well, I know the public place for you. You're gonna go on Thomas' branch line tomorrow. Because it need help with some passenger duties on the branch line, and I need another engine for you, and I know the perfect engine for the job. Will you help on Tony's branch line some of the time, as well as you something in the yard? I love to, said Lincoln. Good, said the top and half. You're gonna pull your first passenger train in the morning tomorrow. It down the understand? Yes, indeed, said Lincoln. I'm so excited. Okay, said the top and half. See you by then. And with that, he left. Lincoln was so excited. Yippee, he said. I'm gonna pull my day first passenger train. I can't wait. And with that, Lincoln popped and back to do his shunting duty. The next day, Lincoln was day excited, but nervous too at his popping into the coach yard. I do not want to look silly in front of a lot of people. He said to himself, I'm so scared I may mess up. Lincoln was feeling a little bit nervous on the inside, but at the same time, he was a little bit excited. Just then, Emily came. She was popping down the line with a freight train. Oh, hello. You must be Lincoln. One new engine is going to come as Soto for the summer. Um, yeah, that's me. Who are you? Oh, I'm Emily, one of Thomas's good friends. Nice to meet you, Lincoln. You look pretty handsome this morning. Hi, said Lincoln. Oh, do I my that thing? I need help with something. What is that? She asked in concern. Well, I only pull my dairy on passenger train, but I do not know. I just... I don't want to. I don't want to mess up. Oh, I see," said Emily. "Well, when I first came on soda, I kindly accidentally sold Tonda's coat by accident, but I did not even know. 
But then later, I but then later, I saved Anjan Carl Oliver before he got himself into a nasty acting with Thomas, and near the end, I got my dirty on coaches. And me and Tom became very good friends with each other. Wow. That must be pretty cool, said Lincoln. Yep, but I gotta get going. I don't want this freight train being late. Okay, said Lincoln. See Emily. And with that, Emily popped away with her freight train. Just then, Diesel came. He know what to do to trick the engine. So he came up to Lincoln. <laughs> Who are you? Asked Lincoln in his puzzle. Hello, said the engine. I'm Diesel. Oh, hi Diesel, my name's Lincoln. I came from the Royal Woods Railway. Oh, that's pretty neat, said Diesel. Well, I just came to tell you that, I just came to tell you that, well, your, your cultures, well, your cultures are right there near you. It's just that Thomas cannot take his culture today that he need to be somewhere else that he need to pull the ice cream train today because it's very hot. Oh, okay, said Lincoln. Thank you for telling me, Diesel. Oh, you're welcome, said Diesel. And with that, Diesel went away. But what Lincoln did not know was that Diesel was tricking him. So Lincoln back up to the coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. But what Lincoln did not know with Annie Club was that Annie Club was fast asleep. They did not know what's going on. Okay, so Lincoln, I'm ready. And with that, Lincoln puff away slowly. He puffed so slowly that Annie Club did not woke up. Just then, Thomas came into the yard to collect Annie and Clarabo. He saw that Lincoln was pulling his coaches. What the? Lincoln? Why are you doing with my coaches? Come back here. Lincoln, come back here with my coaches. But Lincoln had already left. He was far away. As he was popping in any club, he began to grow nervous a little bit more. I do not want to, to be silly in front of everyone, he said. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. And with that, exactly what Lincoln did. When Lincoln got to Napa Station, he fought very slowly. And then he stopped to let the passengers on the coaches. Annie and Clara were still fast asleep. They still did not even know about this. Well, everything is looking pretty smoothly, said Lincoln. Now, I must continue with this passenger while I taunt this branch line. Lincoln go. He hoped everything would go smoothly. The signal drop, and with that, Lincoln popped slowly and carefully out of Napa Station. Surprisingly, everything proceeded pretty smoothly with Lincoln with his passenger train. The coaches did not even wake up. Lincoln was a little bit impressed. Wow, can't believe everything else is doing pretty good, isn't Lincoln? I'm making pretty good progress and pretty much in time, he said. Soon Lincoln arrived at Maitway Station, where he saw Toby with his coach Henrietta. Hi, Lincoln, said Toby. Hi, said Lincoln. He was pretty much happy. Are you replacing Thomas on his branch line? 
Blanking was surprised. Wait, what? No, of course not. Well, I see what you meant, said Henrietta. Look. You're pawn Annie and Clapo. Those are Thomas's coaches. What? said Lincoln. Well, what do you mean? I thought they belonged to nobody. Well, Annie Clapo are Thomas's coaches, and to and I am Toby's coach. Just then, Annie Clapo slowly began to walk up. Wait, 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 what, said Annie? What, 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 what happened? How do we end up here in Midway Station? Who is this tank engine? You're not Thomas. Annie Clapo were confused. Then Lincoln's face frowned. Oh no, he said. I am so much trouble. Just then, the top and half arrived on Winston. The top and half was not happy. Lincoln, said the top and half, why do you took any club out? Well, sir, said Lincoln, it's not my fault. It's just that I was, I was excited, but at the same time, I was a little bit nervous, and I did not know where my coaches were. So, Diesel told me that Annie Clapo, well, Thomas was so busy with some ice cream that I took Annie Clapo. I'm very sorry, sir. What? said the top of that. That was not true. I didn't send Thomas to take some ice cream today. Thomas was working on his breast size normal. And Diesel told you this? Yes, said Lincoln. What? Not this Diesel again. <sighs> Lincoln, do not trust Diesel because Diesel is nothing but trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, said Lincoln. Oh, it's okay, said the top of that. But how you doing with your blind side anyway? Well, said, said Lincoln, it's doing pretty good. Yep, I agree, said Annie. And he did not woke us up until now. Yep, we are quite full. I gotta say, this tank is doing a good job. Did well then, said the top of her. But after you done with the coaches, take them back to Thomas. Did that understand? Yes, sir, said Lincoln. Yep, I'm gonna continue with your, with your brand sign work. And with that, the top of that and Winston left. Well, at least I'm not 100% in trouble. See, Toby. See, Henrietta. Bye, Lincoln, they said. And with that, Lincoln puff away with Annie and Clarabelle. Later, later after he's done with his passengers, Lincoln took Annie and Clarabelle back to Thomas while he was waiting. I'm sorry I stole you cold as Annie and Clarabelle, said Lincoln sadly. I just did an hour's trick by Diesel. And not only that, I did a good job of taking care of your coaches. Thomas smiled. It's okay, Lincoln. I know you're new here to Soda, even though you just stay here just temporarily. I cannot stay mad at you forever because I think you're pretty cool. Thank you, said Lincoln. Thomas, Lincoln did a good job taking care of us. Yeah, said Clapo. He did. He just a nice tank engine. Ah, oh, thank you, you two, said Lincoln. Lincoln smiled. Thomas smiled, too. Hey, said Thomas. I have an idea. Would you like to take any Clapo some of the time? Lincoln smiled. i love to. Though I will further to pull some other coaches, too. I understand, said Lincoln. And Lincoln and Thomas smile. And now sometimes, now sometimes, Lincoln can pull passenger trains sometimes. Mr. Lincoln's very happy. And when he see Thomas and his brother passing by, they never get to say hi and whistle to each other. This made Lincoln very happy that he made some two new friends.